Practice makes perfect. A saying notable to any trade, and it's one that guided the organization of the third annual matchup between Florida State's women's soccer team and the WNSL's Orlando Pride. The scrimmage holds importance for many reasons, as it allows the women of FSU's soccer team to hone in on a dream that they've been chasing for a lifetime. I think that it's very important for, for all of us because at the end, this is a dream that we all have to play pro. Well, you know, so many of the players that come to Florida State have the goal and aspiration to play as professional players. So this really gives them a chance to go out and measure themselves and see where their deficiencies are and have a chance to really compare themselves against uh, kids that are making a living playing as full professional players. This year, the matchup took place in Tallahassee allowing for a very special homecoming for two former Seminoles. The former Knowles, Carson Pickett and Tony Presley, both had their own decorated careers at Florida State before moving on to their professional pursuit. Well, Tony may be the best athlete that we've ever had. Uh, she's uh, so strong and so powerful and gifted technically and could read the play very well. Carson's a little bit younger into the pro uh, league and Carson's one of the most interesting kids we've had. Helped us win, of course, 2014 championship. Carson and Tony are just a few of the many greats to come through Florida State a testament to head coach Mark Kerkorian for the successful way he coaches his players as student athletes and as people. He's one of the best coaches that I have. Uh, he's really smart, he really cares about the person that we, that we are um, and not just about soccer and that's really, really important because you can be a good player but you also have to be a good person. Like he always brings up like commitment to the team and commitment to excellence, like that's like our motto. After a back and forth battle, the Knowles capped off a 3-2 win against the Pride, a special moment for all of the current Seminoles. As Carson and Tony are living the dream of every current Seminole soccer player, they offered advice to those hoping to one day be in their shoes. While Tallahassee may be only a brief stop on these women's road to fame, they'll always remember that no matter what team they're on, once a Seminole, always a Seminole. I'm Lawrence Rickfigure for Seminole Sports Magazine.